Well, Brian, thanks for having me here today. My pleasure. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Uh, we wanted to do something to start off and kind of explain what we're gonna be doing here over the next months, maybe next couple of years here. Tell me about, let's go back to when you first contacted us and some of the things you wanted us to do. Well, um, we're a new city. Um, we're only about five and a half years old. And like you can imagine with new cities competing against cities that have been around for oftentimes hundreds of years. Right. Coincidentally, in a county that's celebrating its 200th anniversary this year. Wow, I didn't know that. And so when you're new, oftentimes it's hard for you to kind of claw for some of the, you know, oxygen that the other cities and even unincorporated county areas have. And so we found ourselves in that a little bit, you know, where six years ago, the city of Peachtree Corners didn't exist, and now we do. But a lot of people don't realize that, you know, we are a city, that we have all of the offerings that we do, the size that we are. To be honest with you, it was a little bit harder, I think, than we thought. We are not only the newest, but we're the largest city in Gwinnett County, um, land mass and population. Wow thinking, oh, we're in a, you know urban county in metro Atlanta, everyone will know, well, it's not quite as easy. So when we kind of realize that, look, we need to do a little bit more proactively to kind of make sure we are on, you know, the, the forefront of people's minds, especially in the area, that's the first question that we answered is, do we need to do more? Yes. The second question is, is, well, what is that more? What does the more look like? Right. Right. Is it us taking out billboards on the interstate? Is right. it improving our website? Is it going out and having more city staff members attend rotary meetings? I mean, what is it? Yeah, we consulted a number of experts and did our own research. We knew that we were already doing some things well. Mm -hmm. We had already got an award-winning website. We are rather active in the area when it comes to civic organizations and other governing organizations. but. What we weren't doing very well compared to some of the cities that are of similar demographic and size, having our presence known out in the internet of things. Right. You know, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo channels, right. whatever, wherever it is, all those platforms, communication platforms, we weren't doing well. And it was hurting us in a number of ways. One, we have a target population out there that we really want to capture, as all cities do, and that is the call them millennials now, but the younger generation that's looking to, to start a family or to get their new first job. We wanted to be a place that it was under serious consideration. And that, that by the way, that's also what corporations are looking for when they're looking to locate in a city or relocate in a city. A lot of times they have the millennials looking for where's a good location and they're looking at lifestyle and they're looking at education and all the different things to do. So, I mean, it's really, you have to communicate where the millennials are are looking and they're looking on social media. That's a good point is, you know, if you're wanting to attract a younger, you know, audience, the job that they're considering getting is not the only thing that they're looking at. In fact, maybe for the first time in, in generations, what they have outside of their primary occupation is maybe more important than actually the job itself. Right. So they're very much looking at things, you know, like, you know, proverbial things like schools and homes, but also entertainment, what recreational opportunities are there, how dense is it, how walkable is it. Right. Um, things that wasn't necessarily looked at, suburban communities were being created that are car centric. We knew that we needed to compete in that demographic. <laughs>